Hey everyone, Mrs. Peterson here, and I'm going to show you how to make a QR code for a video that's going to go into your Curvado. Now, if you have a Wix and you've run out of space, this will also work for you. So, ideally, you would want to have your own YouTube channel, and you're going to get your uh, your information from that, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it from our Google Drive. So you're going to go to your Clever and open up my room and you're going to scroll down to Canva and open up your Canva. And when you get to your Canva, the easiest thing to do is just write logo because I know that the logo templates are square. It doesn't matter which one you pick. We're just going to pick a square logo, create a blank. That works out great. We don't need any of this that comes in over here. We just need this square, okay? We're going to scroll down to apps, or if you've ever used it before, QR code. But we'll go ahead and look in apps and scroll down, and the QR code genera generator is going to come up. I will tell you, I tried this one today, but it did not work very well, so I would just stick to the regular QR code generator. And then you're going to go to your, uh, you're going to go, if you have a um, YouTube, that's really where you want to go because this stuff, even though I've given permission, who knows how long these will last. So you go to your video, whichever one it is you want to do, and you right click on it and you will share and get the link because I've already made the link, anyone with the link, okay? So you copy the link and you're going to go back to your Canva and you're going to drop that link in there. So I command V, I command paste it and I generate that code. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you to make it the size of the square because I think it's a eight by eight inch or something like that. It'll come across well in your portfolio. And then you're going to go ahead and go uh, add a page. So now you have two, and then you can label this one. So this one is, uh, this one is spinning planet. So I know what that is when I download it. Another thing you can do uh, is you can go back up to elements and grab a shape, a square, and put that square over the top of this. This is just for those people who like to do kind of fun things. And then pick a color. So pick a color, go to transparency and give it some transparency. And then you'll have a pink. You'll, that's the only way you can get a color because you can't put the QR code on a color, but you can put a color over it. So there's my spinning planets. And that was the example from the Google Drive. But if you have a YouTube or if I, I gave you a link to the Christmas video, so here's the Christmas video and I go to share and I go ahead and copy that and then I scroll back. I'm going to go back in my, um, I'm going to go back to my apps, scroll down to the QR code, drop in that, generate the code. Well, it put it on that one again, so I want to move it down to this one because I don't want this, I don't want two different codes on the same on the same PNG when I download it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and stretch that to the full square. I'm gonna move that up. And again, if you wanted to put a color over the top of it, I just went ahead and colored, cut, took the same one I put over the top of that, but you could change the colors. <clears throat> Since I already put a transparency on it. And this one is, well, it's a Christmas video, so I should probably make it green. Let's make that one green, okay. So this one is Christmas video. Or the actual name of it, in case you wanted to know, is the end of the playlist. The message of Christmas is what it's called. So I could give that as the name. I command C on my Mac you can control C if you're doing it somewhere else. There's the message of Christmas. You're going to do this with all the QR codes of all of the videos that you make. And you're going to go over here to share and you're going to download 
and it's going to want you to download it in a PNG, and that's great. That's what you want, and here's why. Because when you download it, <clears throat> it's going to download into your files with the names that you typed in there. So let me show you. I'm going to try to get to my, here we go. So we're going to go to my downloads. And in my downloads, I didn't give this a name, so that was probably not good, but I happen to know it. And see here, Spinning Planet, it's already named, and Christmas, the message of Christmas is already named. Otherwise, it'll just name it one, two, three, and you might not remember what those are. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to put those in your Cravato, and that will help out. I love you. I miss you already. Go out and change your world for the better. Have a great day.